all is well in the world. And she has to live Sunday over two times, basically. Yes. <laughs> you know, there are people coming out to defend her, and uh, you know, whether it's David Letterman, but even this morning, because Anne knows I'm a metalhead, I saw David Draymond, the lead singer of Disturbed, well, there you go. was at his show. And he defended her Who too. Who cares? Yeah. They're having a good time. It's I know. A, it's a bright spot. Good for you them. Know, he said he respects her because she plays live music. She sings live, plays her own instruments. And yeah, so there is a level of respect there. All right, so that's Letterman and the heavy metal world. Yes. <laughs> All right. Juxtaposed. I know, right? So here's a look at our satellite and radar composite where, hey, it would be nice to get a little bit of sunshine in here. But these clouds are just squeezing us from both sides. You can see some coming in from the north and west. Some are coming in from the east. One other thing that's been coming in from the east is the occasional ocean effect flurry. You can see how they kind of develop near Boston and then trust me, somewhere out towards the Cape and the Islands. And they basically retrograde, meaning that they move in the opposite direction of what we would normally see. They make it through Rhode Island and if they can hold together, they make it here into Connecticut. So a few flurries this afternoon would not surprise me, but that won't amount to much on the ground, if anything. Here's a live look in water where we are at 33 degrees. It's a chilly day. 32 in Willimantic. It's 35 in Meriden. We're at about 33 degrees in New London. Luckily, we don't have that pesky breeze that we had at this time yesterday, just the pesky clouds. Winds are coming out of the east and northeast, anywhere between 3 to about 8 miles per hour. So here's our hour by hour showing you again some of these faint splashes of blue that pop up indicating that chance of a few passing flurries, but it will not be anything widespread. And even though I wish some of these clouds would kind of break apart overnight, you can see they're not in a rush to go anywhere. So expect mostly cloudy skies overnight into tomorrow. And then once again tomorrow, more clouds than sunshine, but at least temperatures should nudge into the upper 30s, a little bit closer to where we should be for this time of year. So today, mostly cloudy, a stray flurry, 37 at the shoreline to about 34 degrees inland, but at least we are not going to have those wind chills in the 20s. The clouds will stick around tonight as temperatures dip into the 20s, and then tomorrow, once again, more clouds than sun with highs in the upper 30s. Here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where, even though we will still be dealing with clouds on Thursday, it is going to be milder as temperatures push into the mid 40s. As we go from Thursday night into Friday morning, we are going to be tracking mostly rain showers at the shoreline, although far they're inland, you could see some wet snowflakes mix in. So Friday morning, a little bit of a wintry mix to start the day. So that could cause some delays out there. Of course, Friday is Groundhog Day. At least here in our neck of the woods, we're not expecting much sunshine. So technically, the groundhog should not see his shadow. But that's not up to me. That's up to good old Phil. Now looking ahead to this weekend, I am more optimistic for some sunshine. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures going to be in the mid to upper 30s.